Hi everyone. We're the Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. I'm Gary. <laughs> Gary, Gary, wait, go ahead. <laughs> I'm Celia, and and uh, who who is that? Who's that? Hi, <gasps> Minnie. hi, Minnie. That's hi. Minnie. <laughs> Many All Exes oh, is joining us today, and we are so happy and so thrilled. We're like, wow, this is too cool. See, this is some of what can happen when you have to socially distance. And yeah. Everything, like, different. <laughs> <laughs> Think about things. Yeah, I know. I got all caught up in that. But anyway, so welcome, many. Thank you for joining us today, and we're so excited to have you be a part of the Sunshine Stitchers video episode for today. Well, well yes. thank you for, for having me. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to get going right away. Um, so, many, what are some of your favorite designers or the types of charts that you like to do? Um, I, like, um, I like stitching people. Or, or mm -hmm. faces, and my favorite uh, uh, designer is uh, Joan Elliott. That's the mm -hmm. one I started with. So I've done a, quite a few of her faces and the the, the people, the geishas and stuff that she had uh, designed. I like the Mother Moon. Yeah. So <laughs> so yeah, those uh that was my favorite uh, designer. But I mean, since then I've I've done a lot, you know, of different designers. Mm -hmm. But she was always, and she's always my favorite. Okay, good, good. Um, and what, uh, do you have a finish that you're most proud of? Uh, yeah, this was, um, I saw this in the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine, and it was a uh, Bama had did the uh, a stand up. Oh, oh. So I, 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 I like that. I just copied hers. I, I st stitched the front, you know, and then I made my first stand up. So wow. this one, I'm, I'm really proud of because it actually stands up. That's, wow, <laughs> that's really nice. Are you sitting by a window? Yeah, I'm gonna let me see if I can close my blinds more. Yeah, because that's I think the sun moved. Yeah, she looked like she was sun kissed. Yeah, sun kissed, <laughs> <and> blinded. <laughs> I'm a sunshine stitcher now. Blinded by the light. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so show us the stand up again, because okay. I. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. See, I didn't even see the pink flower before. Wow, look at yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, because it normally has, I think it has letters. Yeah, the book. Yeah, it had alphabets and stuff mm -hmm. on, the, on the chart. It's a la -di da chart. I had to put my note here. <laughs> it's a la -di da and um, I just did just like Vana did, and I just stitched the rabbit in his flower. Yeah. Wow. I love it. I do, too. That is so cool. Yeah, wow. put uh. Curtain, uh, curtain weights. Uh, oh, at mm -hmm. the bottom. Yeah, to get yeah. this up. Yeah, to keep it curtain oh, weights. It's just, yeah, and it's it's stuff with uh, the regular fiber field stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, I that's, like that. Yeah, that's it. I tell you, we had B score new last week. We've got. I know. This week we we like fancy. <laughs> 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 we want to thank everybody for your comments and um, just, you know, yeah, comments and questions on our videos. Um, yes. So we, mm -hmm. had, so we had a couple of people talking about my floss wall, very mm -hmm. concerned about dust. And yes. Yes. And I'm not concerned about dust. Uh, um, I figure, I think back to those young ladies who were learning to stitch back in the day, there was dust, there was ash, there was all kinds of stuff in the air. And those pieces, I'm, my thing is that dust, that cat hair, that whatever is in the air is what held those pieces together through all this time. <laughs> so 500 years from now, when somebody is looking at my stitching, 
-hmm. they're going to say, wow, look how long that stood up. <laughs> the like, cat hair, the dust, and all that stuff. Yeah. All of it. All of it. But, but, but truly, what I do is, um, before I use particularly my cotton threads, I dampen a piece of sponge, and I just run the threads across the sponge. And it removes anything on it, including some of those little uh, wayward cotton filaments that sometimes come off thread, you know, mm -hmm. just from being on the skein. You know, the, the little, sometimes they, the thread can look a little hairy. Uh, but this just wipes all of that off and it's nice and smooth and um, my threads don't tangle as much. But well, I'm, and also you pet your wall every now and then. Huh? You pet your wall. A floss. <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> it seems like I'm always looking for something. So yeah, there's a lot of movement there. And then when I use silks, I do use some wax or other kind of thread conditioner on silks, and that picks up a lot of stuff too. Yeah. So, so no, I don't worry about dust. Um, most of the thread, if you notice, it's kind of the bottom row is kind of like at my shoulder, which is kind of far up. My cats, I don't even think realize it's there. So there's okay. no playing with it or, or any, anything like that. So um, let's see. So there was several comments about what was Gary's beard. <laughs> Why did yeah. you shave it, Gary? Yeah. I have to clean up for guests. Ronnie wanted me to shave. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ronnie was like, I'm done with the beard. Enough for the beard. <laughs> you were looking like Papa Smurf, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf. <laughs> you, if you insert a Papa Smurf, Picture Gary, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, oh. so Gary, I'm going to help you recover from that. <laughs> what, was, what was the fabric you used for playing with Jax? Oh, you mean this finish? Oh. <laughs> it's from uh, Stitches and Spice. It's an Australian dyer. And I don't believe they're in business anymore, but it's called Sugar Cane Crunch. Wow, that's pretty. That was that is pretty. Wow, nice. did you ever say that before? Like that. Maybe that's why they asked. I don't know. Yeah, I've said yeah he said it yesterday. I mean, last last week. Last week, <laughs> well, that's right? Because he only started it last week, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he said before, but he worked on it and finished it. <laughs> we can't. We can't keep up. I don't even try. <laughs> that's what, I don't even try. You have a stack over here. <laughs> And we had somebody who asked about the prescription magnifiers, like how that yes. works. The Yachtasan? Well, we also had pictures of uh, questions about the Yachtasan. Okay. Oh, so you're talking about the prescription glasses. Prescription yeah. glasses. Because you said prescription glasses, but I heard Yachtasan. That's okay. Prescription Yachtasan. <laughs> I can see the... <laughs> So what I did is when I went to the to the uh, the eye doctor, I they did my prescription, and then I had my stitching with me. And I said I want to take, I want to add on top of my prescription three times magnification, so I could see the holes. And then they so the whole thing is yeah, prescription, or just the bottom? My whole thing. I don't have any, I don't have any uh, bifocal, trifocal, any of that progressive stuff. It's just. Okay. The whole lens is, is magnified. So I see you guys full scale. Me, I have um I have progressives. So and I told him my stitch as well. And I think he put extra magnification, not three times, maybe one or two yeah. down here. So when I look down here, it's a little uh bigger. That's what I do too. And these are not these, these yeah, just, just my regular glasses. glasses. When I want to see people. Yeah, my, yes, I, I, I wear uh, bifocals. So my prescription, my magnifier is either 2.75 or 3.0. I can't remember. And that's just the bottom part. And then the top part on my uh, stitching glasses is my regular far away prescription. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I didn't want to worry about finding the magnification in the lenses, so I just wanted to just look through the lenses. Well, we have to do that all the time. You always have to find that sweet spot. Like, up yeah, there. man, are, man, are progressive too, but I don't have uh, I don't have them extra for Magnific. stitching. Do you use magnifiers? Yeah. 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 The, the ones on the hang, that that hangs around my neck. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Uh, oh. And when I'm automatically looking through my you know, the reading part of my glasses, you know, That's the, and it helps too. Yeah. Yeah. But for that, you have to still find the sweet spot. Where do you hang it, right? Well, or, I just, the, it's just the, the, the string. It's, so you adjust the string? Yeah. Okay. Where it sits, you know, so perfect to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that. Um, I didn't have as much luck with that, um, mm -hmm. but you know, I wish I had luck with that. It certainly would have been less expensive. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, that, that I use, uh, every time I use a magnifier, I always turn into Inspector Clouseau or or a pilot. I always close one eye and try to stitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually end up, you know, walking around with it just hanging around my neck, you know, like a. Yeah, like like, like flavor flames. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then um Minnie, do you use a floor stand? Uh sometime on, on my bigger items, but most of the time I just hold it in hand because the, the Q snaps aren't that heavy, so I just mm -hmm. hold it in my hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh somebody wanted to know where y'all got your Lowry stands. Amazon, because but you have to really look at Amazon, mm -hmm. and it's only the gray one. The pretty other colors, the other pretty colors, you have to get somewhere else. Gary, yeah, yeah I got mine from the manufacturer from the Lowry. That's uh, in England, right? I'll put the link in the bottom in in the notes, and uh, it's in England, and it came really fast. And you get yeah. all. I got the teal because they didn't have the Gary green, so I got teal. And I, the colors are really pretty. They have new pink ones. I follow them on Instagram. And <laughs> it's like, ooh, I want this one. Maybe I need two Lowry stands. <laughs> yeah, one for each room. Yeah. <laughs> Went to hold both sides. <laughs> yeah. Fire Poppy in um, South Carolina, um, I think, is now the U.S. distributor for the Lowry stand. Oh. I've yeah. heard that, yeah. Okay. Right. So, so you don't have to go all the way to England. You might want to try reaching out to Fire Poppies first. Yeah. Well, I ordered, I, I ordered mine two years ago on my birthday, and I got it. My birthday was on Monday, and I got it that Friday. So. That was good. Two years? It's been two years? Wow. Not bad. Okay, so who had finishes this week? Well, I had this one. That I showed. Okay. Playing with jacks. It's on 32 count. Oh. And then I had a start and a finish. Wait a minute, bring it back. Let's see it again. That was kind of fast. I mean, even though we saw it before, but yeah, that's that's good. Oh my! Oh, that back pumpkin is beautiful. The black one. I, I like, like the front. Yeah. Black and white one. Yeah. yeah the one. The one down there. Right. I have that chart there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Yeah. The one right here when I was stitching it, it just blended right in with my fabric until I put the Oh, other I on. see. And I didn't put there's like a some dotted square around here. I didn't like that because I felt it closed in my fabric. Mm -hmm. That's so, nice. Well, the label of the fabric. I mean, there's a website and everything, but I don't think they're making fabric anymore. Okay. Yeah. Stitches and spice. And then the, uh, my start and finish was April wordplay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. It's oh, look at the bunny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It matches the bunny up here. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Oh, did you make do that on purpose? or Are they the yep. same from the same designer? Designer. But see, I kicked DJ out, out of the basket up there, and I'm sitting in it, and I don't know what happened to Sheila. She left. Got some little bees over here. <laughs> This Why did you kick me out? <laughs> I just disappeared. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> I'm out of here. So, this is on uh, Jolly from Coloring Cotton. 
Oh. I like their food. Color Cotton is having a sale. Love you, yeah. Oh, Two dollars a skein. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on their threads. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's all I my finish. finish. Did you have a finish, EJ? Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Minnie, do you have a finish? Yes, I do. I have this uh, I finished this. Yeah, you like that. I like that. Oh, yeah, good. this was um this is one of my old finishes, uh well old whips <clears throat> from I started in October twenty seventeen and just it get put in my box and but this was on my uh whip go mm -hmm. so yeah this this was one of the numbers that get pulled for april so i finished it okay so, so that's it wow and this is uh let's see this was uh from the nebby needle and this is on uh silver linen from what is it mcg textiles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay mcg yeah, yeah 32 count that is yep. so cool. Wow. That moon. Nice big round moon. Yeah, that was killing me. It, it was killing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of little stitches in there. Ooh. I have a finish. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I finished um well, I finished B butterfly stitch. Uh, which is just a combination of all kinds of different threads. Um, the model they just Sorry. did. This is, <laughs> <laughs> the model uh, is stitched on, um, it was all pink and I didn't really like it. So I just swapped out different colors for the bottom part with the flowers and the bees and stuff. So we just lost EJ. Who's doing some emergency puppy management? <laughs> yeah. so, is that, so is that going to be like a letter a week almost? Yeah, it took me about a week for each letter. Well, it's not just the letter though, because I had all of this outside um, back oh. to do. So each page is outlined in this back stitch. The color um pearl to to closely match the fabric yeah. and these green areas here are going to be cluster blocks two cluster blocks that will ultimately be used to pull the pages together you know like buying the pages together you put ribbon yeah. through the holes oh, okay. in the blocks yeah so that's a and b and and to finish it you just fold it back and and stitch them together okay yeah so that's my Hello. finish so next month i do c and d and c nice. is the cashmere stitch and d is diamond ray do you know any of those nope oh okay you nope. gotta learn them today you gotta learn them, learn them today <laughs> yep 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 okay minnie do you have any other fully finished items <clears throat> well, it's not fully finished. It's not FFO. Okay. But <clears throat> this is my, <clears throat> excuse me, the 2019 Peacock Garden. Oh, Ooh. yes. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. I love the way you changed up the threads. Well, I started out with, with, um, this is the well this is all dmc mm -hmm. and this is the the variegated thread mm -hmm. and so i pulled from those colors okay you know, the variegation mm -hmm. and that's how i changed up the blue but then once we hit the swans and i had to change find something else so i just i made them black swans yeah very nice and i just used the browns variegated for, mm -hmm. to do the squirrels Okay. It's a nice color. I did, have, I did have to order add that purple over there for grapes too, because it was kind of, you know, mm -hmm. blue grapes. Uh, <laughs> you, know, so. you probably should yep. eat them. So I finished this. Uh, I started it last January. So 
this one is done. So not, now my, maybe I can start on the one for 2020. Yeah, the one for this year is really shaping up nicely. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. So Minnie, you've done one every year. No, I didn't do the one for 2018. I didn't like those. Lord uh, of the that, Dragons and the, and the, yeah. okay, the guy playing the loot. Yeah, I, I didn't like that one. I did the first one and, mm -hmm. and this one. So now I'm going to start on the other ones eventually. Very cool. Very nice. Cool. I like that. Thank I you. like that you used, was that the Colorus DMC variegated? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like the fact that you used a color that <clears throat> when you think of a peacock, that blue, the blues and greens in your peacock really remind yeah. the peacock. Yeah. Yeah. Very yep. cool. Very nice. Thank you. Did you have while we're with you? Did Did you have any new starts this week? Um. Well, it wasn't this week, but my one of my latest starts is the Al Forest. Um, the sun and the moon. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. And yeah. so this, this is where I met on that so far. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Who knew there was so much stitching in that little picture? Yeah. 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 It, it's a lot more than you think it is. Uh-huh. So once I get down to this water part and the fish, like okay, I, I'm. I get to move on to something else now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like how it's open stitching. You know, it's like a little bit here, a little bit there. It's yeah, it's nice balanced. Yeah. Now, are you using their threads that they ship, or did you just get the chart? No, this this one was just the chart, <clears throat> and these are DMC flosses. I just picked the charts, uh, the the flosses. It's actually converted on here for you. Oh. It's got the D, yeah, on the chart it has the DMC colors. Uh -huh. So that is, that's what I'm using. That is gorgeous. I really like that. EJ, did you have a start this week? Yes, I did. Woohoo! I started. It's in my Garon Totem bag. Uh oh. <laughs> it's this month's, um, oh, sorry. It's this month's bag of the month. So I started um, spring ABCs. Wow, look at that, all that stitching. Look at that. That's crazy. Hey, where's where's the took, bunny? It took forever to kit up because, okay, so I use Victoria Model Sampler Shop. So I had to find, cause, and I don't have any, it's all in Colorworks, classic Colorworks. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. So I had to Google to see what it looks like. Then I pulled the skate to make sure what they did, like the DMC skein, and then I went through my sash to see what could go closer to it, closest to it. So I'm very happy with it. Very pretty. Like a bite out of the bunny's butt? No, that's the foot. Oh, that's the foot? Yeah, I didn't, eat, I didn't take a bite out of the chocolate bunny yet, though. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's another bunny. I may take a bite out of their... No. <laughs> and um, right here, this is like... 500 stitches, even. It was for a magical oh, wow. stitches homework. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's there my is. start. That yeah. is nice. Well, and so my start is April Wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> and I started my other April project, um, Peter's Cotton Knits from Razor. Oh. Nice. Oh, that tree is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's cool is the, the leaves on the tree, the yellow and the green is one color, one skein. It's just, it just variegated through the two colors. Oh. Which is, um, what is the name of the, is it a classic color work? Yes. It's uh, Lemon Lime. Oh, okay. Because there's one that's called Marigold that's like pink and yellow. Like, yeah. yeah. So this was stitched on 32 count uh, Haven from Pictures Plus. I love the because it looks like clouds and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It did make um, stitching this little thing right here very difficult. I might have to back stitch it. Mm -hmm. Little uh, jacket. Yeah, you know? it's hard to tell what it is. Uh, we've got some little, just a little bitty under undies there. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> really big, like the vampire, right? You know. Oh, uh, by the way. This is um, country, vintage country mocha. 
Handmade banding, right? Yes, handmade banding, handmade by Shelia. Thank you, Shelia. It's a 32 cal country vintage mocha. Nice. Oh, and Surge by Gar um, Ronnie. Right. Thank you, Ronnie. Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I had starts this week. I found, thank you, EJ, I found the band, top band for my learning stitches. Ooh, this that's great. Really cool. four, inch, four inch wide, 28 count raw uh, banding with a blue binding. And um, I, well, the, 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 the online workshop by Sassy Jack Stitchery. Um, wow is based on the book by Jeanette Douglas called Learning Stitches. And Sassy Jacks did an opening uh, top and then a, there'll be a signature uh, bottom for it. So this is, a, and this here, the words learning stitches are, are over one. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, these are over one. Nice. And the idea is that you use um, floss from your stash and, <laughs> I, I I had a challenge too, EJ. This was my floss challenge. So first I said, ooh, I'm going to do this in silk. So I went and pulled all these silks. Uh -huh. And then I uh, watched the um, video for the online workshop. Uh -huh. And she said, um, if you have silk, save your silk. This is not for silk. Oh, okay. So I put all the silk back. And I said, oh, why don't I use uh, Victorian model sampler? So I went through and I pulled all these Victorian model sampler threads. That you liked, uh-huh. And then I went back and I watched the video again. This is the same video, okay? This is the, okay. And she says, I really recommend you use a single strand floss. What does uh, that mean? What, that means not Victorian model sampler thread. Yeah, but you just put one strand out, right? You got, don't use two strands. Use a weight like silky thread. Oh. Or oh. Something. Or oh, okay. a light yeah. pearl, like a pearl number three or something. Oh. And then she said, or a flower thread. And I thought, oh, my God, I've got um, a collection of Jenny Thompson flower thread that I've never used. And I have a chart, but I've never yeah. started. So I grabbed my container of Jenny Thompson flower thread. So except for where it's over one on learning stitches because I thought it would be too thick, uh, the whole thing will be done out of Jenny Thompson flower thread, which is a single strand um, thread. One strand is about the weight of uh, one and a half to two DMC. So I'm really happy with that. So that's, that's start number one. Start number two is Blueberry Hill. Ooh, look at that. Um, Blueberry Hill by the Bay Needle Art. And a bunch of us, so a couple of weeks ago, I showed a piece, um, Time Enough, that I had started. And as I was looking at it, it reminded me of a dear friend, Tilly, who passed away the end of March. And uh, because the phrasing on it really made me think of her. And then a, um, Tammy, who you all have met, one of our local stitchers, got in touch with me and said, well, is there a designer that Tilly liked? Maybe we can all stitch something by this designer. We started talking about By the Bay because Tilly had one. Love. Yes. Love by the Bay. She had one very proudly displayed in her <coughs> cabinet. Mm -hmm. that she had done. So we all went out and bought or, or looked at our stash and got by the bay charts. So I, I um, found Blueberry Hill. So we're all stitching. And Karen Owen, the owner of Cross Stitch Cupboard, in July, we're all going to bring in our completed pieces. And Karen is going to put them on the wall to display them with a picture of Tilly. So that'll be very, very, very nice. And we're having so much fun. Everybody's enjoying it, picking out their yeah. job, getting started. It's a lot of fun. It's brought a lot of enjoyment. So it's been a real celebration of, of someone. So I'm stitching this on 32 count 
uh, depression, if I move it back a little bit, Depre tropical depression, not <laughs> depression. Tropical, <laughs> tropical depression by Black Cauldron Dye Works. I think this was new this year from Market. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks kind of like you can see the like There's slight like purples and mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. blues, some grays, a little yeah. white. I mean, it's it's like clouds rolling mm -hmm. in the sky. <clears throat> and um, I, I I really liked it. I really liked it. So that's thirty two count, and I'm using um, the I actually had all of the called for threads, which is mostly. Um, well, it was a combination of variegated uh, and uh, DMC, but I had to make one. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's mainly DMC. It called for one variegated uh, Weeks Dye Works moss, and I had a, some moss, not a whole skein of moss. And all of the, this has quite a bit of leaves on right. the trees mm -hmm. there's another big tree over here and there's leaves going all down i'm not sure i'll have enough moss so i found a victorian model sampler that really complements that uh moss just in case i need to finish up with it so you so you're using moss but if you run out you'll use the other one that's yeah. good so i'm going to yeah. try to do all of the top leaves first so all mm -hmm. the top leaves will be in the moss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom will be similar. And if I and if I run out, then the bottom leaves will be the um, Bavarian green. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that and works. then I, I've got hundreds of skeins of DMC. Okay. Like yeah, 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 I that got makes sense. DMC. <laughs> <laughs> and no, seven thirty three. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. It's some. It's kitted somewhere else. It has to be. I it's in celebrations. Happens. Well, who would no? That's Sullivan's oh. thread. Oh, okay. who, then that's the reason why that one is Sullivan's because that was a hundred and something colors or something. Wow. So yeah, no wow. seven thirty three. But I have a Victorian model sampler threads. So yeah. I I have squash on the vine. I'm using instead of 733. So very happy about that. Yes. And then my last start, this was like the week of starts. I wow. see. I started my March wordplay by Brenda uh -huh. Gervais. And this is on picture this plus 32 count have a sham. This was also a, a market release color this year. And this kind of Blues and yellows. Yellows, okay. You kind of see the yellow in that, I think. Yeah. 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 <coughs> yes. Um, and this is all substitutions. I didn't even write it down. Does the lion have a little crown on his head? No, yeah. I don't think so. Well, it? yeah. It looks like it's, it has a little crown. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying. I was looking at that too. I'm like, what's that spiky up there? But I think it's made to look like a crown. Yeah. Oh, I, like lions. I, I just assumed it was my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Yeah. <laughs> I did that right, one. Go ahead. Starts up the wazoo. Whips, Minnie. What are you working on? Um. Well, this is my whip that I worked on this week. Uh, it's called the. Um, it's a Martin Luther King Memorial. Oh. My my niece bought me this when she came to uh, DC area, you know, and was on tour, was touring, and mm -hmm. she found this and she said, "Well, she like, you know, she would love to see me stitch this." And so I've been working on it for a while, and this is another one of my whip go. Wow. And so this and this is full coverage, and you know, that me in full coverage, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it eventually. I'll finish it. But What's your goal for whip go? Um, well, it was 500 stitches on here. And when I started, it was only like about here. What? Wow. This part was done. But I put in all of this part right here. So your goal is met. Yeah. 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 It's about, it was about 800 stitches to fin put that in right here. Wow. 
it, it was two. This is on uh, sixteen count Ada, so they kind of tiny. So it was like it was hard to count and keep track mm -hmm. of it. But yeah. this way, I know. I, I, I meant yeah, my goal. Yeah, you surpassed it. Yeah, yeah. So that that's what I had worked amazing. on this week. The that's colors in that. The the um shading on the the grays. Yeah, it's it's um confetti heavy right in there with mm -hmm. the different grays, but they work though. Yeah. And some and looking at it in the in the camera, it really works because I can see a lot of detail mm -hmm. that you know looking at it this close is just pixelated, you know. Mm -hmm. But it works good. That is awesome. Yep. Oh, that is and so that, cool. That's my whip for the week. Well, I mean, that's a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gary, what's your whip? Um, well, my first whip is going to be to work on Peter's Cotton Knits. No, no, no. What whip did you have this week? Oh, all your finishes. Um, I don't have any whips. All my yes. stuff. Okay. His whips are finishes, remember? <laughs> my whips are finishes. <laughs> so that's his whip. So that's his start in your whip. Yes. yes. Okay. I always get confused. I, get I, don't, I don't fall in those categories. <laughs> <laughs> EJ, what have you been working on? Uh, Black Work Butterfly. Oh, look at that. Uh, I did, I don't know what I did, what you saw last, but I, I know I did some of this. What do you call that? Back stitching? Black work, yeah. No, yeah, no. but this but this part is black back stitching. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Is this part right here the brown parts? This part and then this part. Okay. And I had to put this down to work on my because with go, you know. Yeah. Was oh I by the way I got this uh needle minder this cute needle minder I don't know if I told you. Little you gummy bear. Is that a purple gummy bear? It's a purple gummy bear. It's so cute. It goes with my purple. I got it from Stitching Button. Uh, uh, and I got a little M&M &M too. So cute. So super cute. Huh? Don't eat it. What? Don't eat it. Don't eat it? Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of my whips. Another whip. Almost finished. I think I need one more day. One more day. Is... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. So this is um, giving thanks. Um, th well, I still have to do the star, and then three out of four will be done. The turkey is completely done. I just have to do some lines on it. Okay. I don't know how to do that yet. I have to read on it. And then I have to do the bottom border, and I'll right. be done. So this will be done today. All yeah. right. Done today. All right. Okay. Nice. Bye -bye. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and this had, I don't know how many, I, I used this for Semi Sane. I used it for School of Magical Stitches. This is going to be, um, when I'm done, about um, 600, 700 stitches. Mm -hmm. um, and I used it for Daily 30. So I used it for, for everything. everything. Yeah. For everything. Yeah. Get oh. it done, son. <laughs> and that is me all righty well i had i did put some time in this week on emerald butterfly yeah. that looks um, that looks yeah. good. i did the back stitching on this side okay and you know the the uh, you know i don't do the the mirabilia nor nor corbett pieces this is the first ones this one and a silver dragonfly, the first ones that I've ever done. And I don't, so this back stitching, why, how do you, you know, getting these little wrinkles and curves in there? Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, I, I think you just need to do the best you can and you won't know the difference when it's done. Well, that's if what you, I decided. You don't have to follow exact. Um, this is yeah. all to your yeah. eye. And mirror bellias normally don't have that much back stitching. This is a, these two dragonflies are, are out of her norm. Normally she does like a line around the face and a little bit on the hands, but that's about it. It's just not heavy back stitcher. Yeah, but, but the anatomy of a dragonfly, it's very 
um veinish right is it venous yeah the, the wings yeah the wings yeah, yeah. you see the, the lot of lines so yeah. mm -hmm. so i i estimated now originally the threads were one of the variegated was like this blue variegated the one for the back stitching so i actually tried it and did not like it at all the blue disappeared mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. then i thought okay well let me try the green so i tried a green E699. Didn't like that either. That that E stuff was no, that wasn't nice. So finally I just said, well, I like the color 699. I just went um, regular cotton DMC 699. So that's what that is. And I looks put the green because it's the emerald butterfly or diamond uh dragonfly. Mm -hmm. So I figured stick with the green. I, I like it. Yeah, like it looks it. good. But that was giving me a time. Dragonfly almost, you know, went bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let me see. Um Minnie, do you have any announcements? Uh no. Okay. EJ, no, no. do you have any announcements? Um no. No, nope. not over here. All right. Uh oh. All right. I guess that leaves it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> you have announcements to get on? Yeah. No. Is everybody frozen? Is it just me who's frozen? Not frozen? On. And uh, get the bees inside. That's real tough. Can so, um, the invoices. Stop me for a second, off. Gary. Did everybody yeah. hear him? Because he froze on my computer. Oh. So this is the uh, Summer Quaker bag for the uh, Rosewood Manor Summer Quaker Stitch Along. Oh, nice. Is the summer Open it up. Yeah, look at all those bees. There's like a million bees. Wow. That looks good. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. And I, like, I like the lemons and stuff on here. The flowers. Yeah. Oh, there are lemons. Yeah. Oh, and snips. Oh, and wait, oh. Wait. We have a pointer. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, these we did the pre-sale on, and the invoices will probably go around sometime uh, late in May after the 20th. We'll give a notice out before. Yeah. And we should have some more available, but we're not sure until Fabric comes in what, what, what we can present. So. Okay. Wow. Those, that's gorgeous. That's pretty, yeah. yeah. That is beautiful. So is Ronnie going to say hi to us today? Is he going to? I know, right? Come on, Ronnie. I'm ready to say, but you don't see me. Oh, hi. Yeah, I got hi. Hi. Yeah, I got the computer really close, so you guys can hear me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I I don't have any announcements. I mean, everybody knows about the cruise. You know where to get your information about the cruise. Until Norwegian Cruise Line says we're not going, we're going. So that's about <laughs> it for that. Uh, haul. Minnie, do you have any haul? Uh, I got a couple of pieces. Mm -hmm. All right. I just got these in. Actually, I just got them in yesterday. Um, I had ordered some. Um, McKenna does the... Um, 1884, mm -hmm. and she had a charity sale, and it was some flosses. Oh, and that's let me see. And these were some silks that I had ordered from her. Are those the Glorianas? No, these are they. They're from Gumnut Yarns. Oh, but they're uh silks. Those are and yeah, I've never worked with. Mm -hmm. I've worked with them before, so I like these. Okay. They look luscious. Yeah. Th I love this purple. It's really I good. I was going to say, that purple is nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then she sent me a extra one. And I had ordered this uh, her ch uh, this chart through uh, the attic. And no, Gary, I didn't take them out of the plastic. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lady with a weeping willow. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. there's a, oh, okay. 
What is she holding? A sheep? Is she a yeah, sheep she, hunter? No, yeah, she has uh, the staff in one hand. It looks like a fan, and then there's a little sheep down there beside her. So, oh, okay. okay, so she's cooling yeah. off. Gotcha. Yeah. So those came in yesterday. All right. That's it. EJ, do you have Paul? Yes, I do. Ooh. Gary will insert two pictures. I bought two patterns. They're um, PDFs. Oh, okay. The first one was by the Bay Needle Art. It's called Soul Food for the Needlesmith. This is my Tilly piece. Oh. Um, it's a companion to... Deb bought one, and this is a companion piece to Deb's. And oh. I'm going to change her face mm -hmm. to make it look more like Tilly. Because mm -hmm. um, Tilly is not redheaded, so yeah. I'm going to change her hair and her face. <laughs> um, so that's one. And the other one is called Funny Unicorn by Awesome Pattern Studio. Um, Virtual Stitchers is having a stitch along with the Awesome Pattern Studios, you know, the calendars with lots of, you know, cross stitching mm -hmm. that you could do. Mm -hmm. Well, my niece loves, loves Unicorn. And that's probably one of, not one of the ones that they have in the calendar is a unicorn. So I went to, I got one for her and I'm going to stitch it. So awesome pattern, awesome pattern studio, funny unicorn. Okay. It's pretty, and I'm going to write her name on it. So she knows it's hers. Oh. I'm looking for a nice mermaid for my niece, my other niece that loves mermaids. So they'll each have one above their beds, one unicorn, one mermaid. Oh. Similar designer for the for the mermaid. I can't. Um, I looked at Awesome Pat Pattern Studio, their website. No, the Etsy. I can't find a mermaid at all. Okay. So, yeah, but so, I want to see like similar design. It's gonna be on the same fabric, if you will. Mm -hmm. But actually, if not the same fabric, then definitely the same count mm -hmm. to make it kind of like even. Exactly. Cause you know, mm -hmm. oh, hers is bigger than mine, and you know, mm, don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gary, how about your haul? Uh, yes, I got my kit from Dyna Stitch. You know, it's the quaint. Mm -hmm. It's called the Quaint Ladies Society. Quaint Ladies, something like that, but I call it N. Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look at it. You get the whole thing. It had me at Halloween. Look oh my that. god, that looks that is so you. Oh. oh my god. Threads, you get the backing fabric, which is like um what is that stuff? Velveteen. Wool or something like that. And then the threads and then the little fringe. And this is the fabric right here. So for 30 bucks, I mean that's not a bad deal. No, that's a, a start and a finish. Yep. <laughs> I see a start and a finish next week. Yeah, <laughs> I like the little black cat on the fence. Yeah. And um there's even a needle in there, so. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. They, they are ready. They're like kids to go, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I got Masty from the Rutting Club. Oh, that, oh, that skeleton is so cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll be starting uh, these in uh, October. I've got all 13 of them. And they're in my lucky 13 bag. Now, mm -hmm. you're putting them all on one piece? Yes, I'm doing them all on, the plan is to do them all on 40 count. We'll see if it passed the first one. Maybe I might get back to 32 count. But. Don't, you have, don't you have back stitching to do? Um, no, well, yes, yes. <laughs> so I don't know, it might not work. But, but on the inspired needle, because that's where these came from, she did hers on 40 count. So oh. I might have to. Or show me your back stitching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they turned out pretty good. And then also I got my uh, By the Bay piece. And it is Halloween. Oh, oh look at those pumpkins. Yeah. And it's all DMC, so there's no specialty stitches or anything. Like that. I like the pumpkin with the, the pirate eye. Arr. You must be stitching. <laughs> That's nice. Very yeah, nice. that's nice. And, uh, she sent this one along was as a thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, and, and this one was uh, came with the Lucky Thirteen. This was must be their next um, one oh. for the. Yeah, I'm sheep not, stitch along. Yeah, I'm not into sheepies, so this might be in somebody's package somewhere, somewhere somewhere. <laughs> that's nice. 
Uh, it's on the hall. I have hall. Uh oh, let's see. I was low on um, six by six grind guards. Oh. So I I found this um, maker of grind guards, some some group called Garon Toten Bags. Oh, the name, I think. Oh, it's oh these. Oh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, those guys, huh? Those guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> six, six by six and an eight by eight. Oh, lady the ladybugs. Ladybugs and oh, ladybugs. And and kind of a no. It's dragons. That, that one was pretty hot. Oh <laughs> yeah, it goes with the dragon scales bag. Mm -hmm. Oh okay, okay, oh. yeah. So that, that and I got mm -hmm. my bag of the month. Whoa. I had a special courier. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was automatically sealed too, right? It was. <laughs> it, I got it out the trunk of a car. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Literally. I said, Literally I said the trunk I'm going to get the bag. Get, get the, the bag's in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do walk no around the back of the car. Feet away. <laughs> yep, six feet away. I'm yeah. telling you, man. People, oh. the people were coming down the street trying to figure out what the hell is she doing? Breaking into somebody's car. Yes. <laughs> we can officially announce that we are a bag dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, All right, so everybody had a little something this week, so that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. So, Minnie, what are your plans for up until your next video? Um, I plan on staying indoors. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll be stitching, and that's about it. Yeah. 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 Sounds yep. about right. Yeah. Yep. Are you binge watching anything? Um, I'm I'm just watching Floss Tube. I'm I'm going from you know. Floss tuber to floss tuber, and then I go on Instagram, and I'm watching live Instagram, you mm -hmm. know, feeds, and mm -hmm. okay. and that's it. Okay, okay. And eating, so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, stitching should stop you from eating too much because you say, "I can't stitch because that's I can't eat that because it's dirty. It'll yeah. get my stitching." So I'll eat <laughs> any fish to stitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but I, I, I got a way to eat. Great. I got a way to eat Cheetos. You put the Cheetos in a cup, and then you just tilt it like a Cheeto at a time. <laughs> I just open up my mouth and it comes. <laughs> and just well, somebody tilts at you. Right? Well, I, I Cheetos, I have to use my toothpick. So yeah, toothpick. Oh, I, to oh, yeah, I just pour it like. Ah. <laughs> oh, but, oh, go through all of this for Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Snack foods. Well, there's no such thing as clean snack foods. Yes, no. there are. They make all I had to do was reach, never far out of. <laughs> Jelly beans, a mouthful at a time, right? Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I cut the top off so I didn't have to reach all the way. <laughs> <laughs> See, this was like a three-pound, the last of a three-pound bag of classic jelly beans. <sighs> Well, it says like best it. by November fifth, two thousand twenty. So, oh, so I bought them on your way. Year. Yeah, I bought them last year. Um, what were we talking about? Plans. 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 EJ, what are your plans? I I would like to finish the that half of the black work butterfly. Finish my giving thanks completely. And um, I stopped at the letter E in um, spring ABCs. Mm -hmm. The next letter I want to get to is J. Oh, get it? oh okay. J. <laughs> are you stitching the E and the J in two different colors? Or are you sticking? Oh, the I already stitched the E. Oh. Would, now you have to do the G and the H in different colors. Oh. <laughs> like green. Like Gary Green? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! It did not have to do the the X and the Z and the W. What? Random. What's G and H? Oh, I get it. 
<laughs> oh, I get it. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my plans. We'll see. We'll okay. see. And I'm, um, oh, oh, oh. So, Harriet, Stitch by Stitch Recovery, I was in Virtual Stitchers, and um, we did a challenge for every stitch I stitch on Mother Moon, she stitches on a project, uh, her dinosaur project, which she was, you know, not feeling more so enthused on it. So once for every stitch I stitch, she stitched one. And for every stitch she stitches, I stitch one. So we have to make sure. The mother um, was whipped this week? Mm-hmm. The moon was whipped this week? It no. wasn't this week, so it may be next week. I have plans for it. I have plans for it. Uh, so we'll see. Because I want to... I want to make sure I have enough stitches in. So if Harriet does some, um, I'm like, here, Harriet, right. here's some stitches, you know, here's some, I'm planning on doing like 500 stitches on it. We'll see. All right, Harriet, let's hold her to it. Huh? I said, Harriet, let's hold her to it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Oh, this chair. I have a tendency to slouch in this chair. I don't know. Sometimes I sit in this chair and I'm stitching and I realize like my chin is at the tabletop. Yeah. <laughs> you got lower and lower and lower. Yeah, and lower. I just sort of slouch and slouch, get more comfortable. Um, Gary, what are your plans? Uh, my plans are to finish up uh, Peter's laundry, and then I'm going to start the Witch's Garden, which is um, which was oh, the, the by the bay. Yeah, and then probably stitch on um, Prairie Moon's uh, Bite Night, the vampire and the cocktail skeleton. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that is a whip. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to work on the Blueberry Hill by the Bay because I want to make sure I, I get it done um, by July. And I'm afraid that if I put it in my whip rotation, mm -hmm. it'll lose some steam. So I'm going to be focus stitching on um, Blueberry Hill. That's my big plan for the week. Everything else is going to say, including my learning stitch. But if I figure the sooner I finish by the bay, the faster I get back to my my rotation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not really a rotation anymore. It's like I want to work on this. I mm -hmm. want to work on that. I forget what I have, so I may have to do a list. And while we're still um, quarantine, like every other day, spin the wheel and then work on that because I do like out of sight, out of mind. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta work on this too. It's only DMC. But I'm changing the skin, but we know what witch's skin is. Oh, yeah. Good. She's got to be green. Got to be yeah. green. I yeah. don't know why she's not. Yeah. <laughs> That's just DMC, so I should. All That's right. You should be ready. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, uh, that's basically the end of my, my little list here. Oh, I did have, I wanted to bring up one thing. Okay. Uh, we, I know, well, they don't know, but we talked about listing all the shops and stuff. Yeah. Right. That would be like a 10 hour video if we just, just, you know, basically as a public service announcement, contact your local stitch shop, call them, email them, check out their website. They might not be physically open, but they're probably virtually open, yeah. even though they don't have websites because mm -hmm. they're all checking their email and taking orders. Yeah, so give them a call. Yeah. 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 Some who don't have great websites are operating by phone call and they're going into the shop and filling the order and mailing it out. Yeah. Or if they uh, have email, then they might do by email. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or email or, yeah. Just Google them and, and sometimes some of them are still in that book, the uh, Stitcher's book. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. See, that book does come in handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> also, such occasions. There's mm -hmm. also a Facebook group called, uh, no, 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 no. Well, have it. Gary, we'll put it below, but it's a yeah. Facebook group that has uh, lists all of the different needle, needlework stores around the country. And okay. people, as they travel around the country, they can go oh. and look up and see if there's a needlework store in the area. And as people visit the needlework stores, they post pictures uh, oh. showing the yeah. store where they've been and sometimes pictures of the inside and a little bit about their experience. And, well, mm -hmm. and one thing I found out, no, if you're looking for floss, don't always just think of cross stitch stores, needlepoint shops, they use general arts, they use weeks, they use color and cotton. I mean, not color, they use some of the same threads we do. So 
Give mm -hmm. them a call. Find out. Yeah, hold on. Give me two seconds and let's see if I can. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a number of Facebook yeah. groups about stitching. <laughs> I think it's two. While she looks it up. <laughs> I know this is the inevitable. Keeps, See, usually, I we can't. I can't do this because when we are together, we film on my phone, while mm -hmm. EJ and Gary sit there and fumble around with their phones. I can't get to mine. Here's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm gonna send you a message, Gary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I have one, but I'm not sure if that's the right one. I'll have to send it to you, Gary, and we'll mention it again next week. Um, I, and it's one that, yeah, I will. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you can cut that part out if you want. Since it no, he's going to leave it in. <laughs> okay, I think we've said it all. And don't forget, no matter where no matter you are, where you are Bye.